Okay, welcome back to the basic edition tutorials. And last tutorial, I covered the basic addition equation of one plus one equals two. Um, if you if that doesn't mean anything to you, I suggest you go and watch the first tutorial on basic addition. What I'm going to be covering today is a few things, and starting with, for example, in this last tutorial, I showed you basically adding two one-digit numbers. But I'd like to show you firstly how to add um, a series of uh, one-digit numbers. For example, one plus one plus one, what that would equal. Now, it may seem obvious, although it may not be obvious to everyone, so that's why I'm covering this. Now, just like in the last case, one here, we could represent that as, for example, let me just switch to red, as an apple, right? or a cherry, whichever you want to call it. I think they're supposed to be apples. Okay. Each of these is an apple. And if we were just to count those up, one, two, three, then we'd have a total of three apples. Okay. So one plus one plus one is three. Here you have your three. And then here you have my individual units. So the same thing would apply, for example, I'm just going to come up here if we had uh, 1 plus 2 plus 3 that would be let me switch to red try to make them a bit smaller one apple this would be two apples this would be three apples if I just counted them it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so you'd have six apples. So one plus two plus three is six. The point I'm making with this is I'll show you the shortcut eventually, but for now you can just see addition as basically adding up a bunch of different things. So for here we add one and two, that total would be, if you looked at that as an equation, three. So we could also say this is three, that three plus three equals six. Right? That's three. That's three. So one plus two plus three equals six and three plus three equals six. So it doesn't really matter how you count them up or how you collect them. It's still going to give you the same uh, number here. So here we have a group of three and there's a group of three. Okay. Now that is the basic way you would add a series of numbers together, single digit numbers. Now what I'd like to also cover in this tutorial is how we would add using the vertical format. So in the uh, first tutorial I showed you, for example, I never learned, do I? Okay. In the first tutorial I showed you, for example, 1 plus 1 equals 2. We could write that as 1 plus 1 equals 2. Okay, if that doesn't make sense why that is the same as that, I suggest you watch the first tutorial. Um, so I'm not going to cover that again. But what I would like to show you is how to actually use this, just like we use this. So for example, and I'll just switch to a different color here. Um, if I did 1 plus 2, right, just like with the apples again, we have one apple there. And then this would be two apples. So I'd have one, two, three apples. Right? Three apples, three apples. Okay? So this vertical format is really the same as this one. In the next tutorial, I will show you why this version here, this format, is a little bit more convenient in some cases, in many cases actually. Before I do that, before we move on to the next tutorial, I would like to show you one more thing, which is just now applying that vertical format to a series, or two, three or more one-digit numbers. So you might see something like this. That just means add 1, 2, and 3. So just again to show you with the apples, we have this would be one apple. That's going to be two apples. 
These are looking less and less like apples as I go along, but that's okay. And then here we'd have three apples. Oh, you get the idea. Three apples. So if we just add counted those up, one, two, three, four, five, six, you can see that would be, well, I'll just do little dots for now. You can see that would be a total of six apples. So over here, if I can get my mouse working, over here we have six. See, so these numbers just represent amounts of something. So the number two, for example, represents two objects. The number three represents three objects. That's the most basic way of looking at what the purpose of numbers is. It can get more complex, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. For now, I would just become familiar with this, practice this, make up your own sets of numbers. For example, you could try um, 2 plus 5, right? And you would just, you could draw your own set of apples or bananas or whatever you want to use and add those up. I'll just tell you for this one, it would be 7. See if you can get the same answer. Okay? Maybe just try a few more. 3 plus 1. Give that a shot. And also, while you're at it, go ahead and give this a shot as well. 2 plus 5. Oops, let me get rid of that guy. <laughs> uh, 2 plus 5 plus 3. Give that one a try as well. Okay? Um, if you have any problems or you're not sure what to do, go ahead and leave a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, please, if you enjoyed it, do subscribe and uh, leave some comments. Thanks.